In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make palm oil at home. Hi faves, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Gracie again and today we are making our own palm oil at home. Isn't that amazing? So the first thing you are going to do is to rinse your palm fruit thoroughly. This palm fruit is for Dorikas and I got each Dorikas for 900 Naira. So that's about 3,600 yen. So what I'm doing now is to ensure that I take out all the dirt in the palm fruit and then rinse it thoroughly. I found this very, very interesting to do because, you know, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to make my own palm oil at home. And yes, this is me showing you how you can also make yours at home. So basically, all I'm doing now is to rinse this thoroughly. I found that rinsing it this way wasn't doing a good job for me. So I just transferred it into a bowl like this and then I added water to it and I continued to rinse it. Because you want to take out the dirt, my faves, you have to be very, very hygienic with your food because there are a lot of things flying around these days. And you know these foods have been exposed in the market with dust and everything. So you want to ensure that when you bring your food home from the market, you rinse it thoroughly which is what i am showing you right now so i'm just going to continue to rinse and rinse and rinse until i feel like this thing is clean enough okay if you are new to this channel please like this video subscribe to my youtube channel for more amazing content like this and it will encourage me to always create and post for you like this so once i think that is clean I'm going to take that out of the water and then transfer to another sieve to drain out the water, okay? It's that simple. Just ensure that you rinse your food very well before you start cooking to avoid all this cholera and all these things that is flying in the air these days. May God protect us and always guide us. So the next step we're going to be doing in this our palm oil production is to add it to a pot. You know the way you boil your palm fruits when you want to make banga for instance? Uh -huh. That's what we're, going to, what we're going to do. We're going to add a lot of water to this to cover it. To make sure that that water covers it and then cover this and allow this to cook for like 15 to 20 minutes minutes max after 15 to 20 minutes your palm fruit should be well cooked you know it's well cooked when it is soft like when you can peel it easily with your hands or when you put it in your mouth and that oil just melts into your mouth you know that your palm fruit is ready to be processed now i'm going to be processing my palm fruit in my food processor yeah i'm not going to be pounding this if you do not have a food processor you can pound it but i'll be using the butchie mix food processor for this and it just makes my life easy because me i cannot stress so i beg i beg i beg this thing would help me do it in no time i do not have to start pounding and pounding and pounding everyone needs a butchie mix food processor in their house and it will encourage you to create nice nice recipes and it will just make you know your life easy you don't have to stress at all like very easy very smart thing to use uh -huh. so once your palm fruit is ready you're going to transfer it into a bowl okay so the next thing that we're going to be doing right now is to ensure that those seeds are separated from the palm fruits itself you know those seeds now they can be very tough and very hard we don't want them in our in our palm oil so i'm going to use my hands my hands are thoroughly cleaned faves make sure your hands are cleaned as well i'm going to use my hands to separate the seed from the palm fruit itself i'll just be separating it like that and when i'm done you will see that there will be no more seeds in this thing just the palm fruit itself even though that seed itself there's still oil on that seed so i would advise you not to throw the seed away you can rinse the seed and even use it to cook one sharp ofiaku, abi one sharp banga soup like that, which was what I did basically. When I rinsed my seed, I did not throw it away. I had one fresh catfish like that at home. I just used that water to make that sharp, sharp banga soup like that. So that is what 
you should also do because you want to reduce waste and then maximize on your banga um your on your palm oil making production one of the, the reasons why i like palm fruits okay so this is the seed and this is the palm fruits now like i said i've separated them i rinsed this thoroughly and i used it to make banga soup as I was saying, Jare, one of the reasons why I like palm fruit is that nothing in a palm fruit goes to waste. From the fruit to the stick to the leaves, everything is just useful. I mean, come on, look at this. I'll show you what you can also make apart from palm oil from this thing that we are doing. Now I'm going to eat this up for a little bit. I want it to just eat up for a little bit. Once you can see that oil shining under your in your pot, you know that it is good to go. You're going to now get a white handkerchief like the one I'm using. Transfer that pulp into it and then use your hands to press down on the handkerchief to release the oil in it you'll be surprised as to how much oil you can get from this like the oil choke is just be coming out easily like that uh -huh. you see the yield is very very much look at how much palm oil we can get from this now but please do not throw away the content of that bag even after you have finished squeezing out the oil i'm going to show you what you can also use that to do so keep watching this video don't skip this video watch it till the end once you have squeezed this properly like this you can see uh -huh. make sure your hands are very clean because you need your hands on for this process once you have squeezed it properly like this that pulp hmm See, but I told you that I'm going to tell you what you're going to do to it. That be eh, hey. now you're going to add hot water to that pulp, the one in the bag. After you have squeezed the oil, make sure that the water covers it, hot water here, yeah, so that the all the banga paste in it will release. So this is how they make banga paste. Okay, you can see that this thing, like I said, is very, 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 very beneficial like very economical to just do i mean you can get banga paste banga oil even the nuts in the palm kernel seeds go they are very useful not to talk of this chaff itself you can even use it to make firewood or you can use it to make your to um, light your your charcoal grill uh -huh. so everything in a palm nut i be a palm fruit is very very beneficial i be beneficial i be useful denny okay so once you have pressed down that paste like that and the water is covering it like that just get a sieve okay and then pour some of that because it's still hot pour some of that into the sieve and then just use your spoon to keep turning it around turning it around and your banga paste will be released into that bowl you can see our banga paste is released now use this one to make correct ofiaku i'll be using one to make correct banga soup and it will bang because come on it's gonna bang so once you mix it thoroughly like that it's get a point this thing will cool down so that your ants can handle it you can still use your hand to squeeze it out properly so that nothing is going to get to waste. This is how you make your banga soup. So this video is like a two-in-one video for you. Okay, so once we are done, this is our banga paste. You can see that creamy, lush, looking delicious banga paste. It's so good. You should definitely try this. See that? Uh -huh and see our palm oil here too well done and well made now i'm just gonna transfer my banga paste into a bowl like this and then i'm going to cover it up cover it up and when i want to make my banga ufiaku, or even oha soup i'll just pour this in there and <laughs> it's good to go yeah so i just save that in my freezer and this is the chaff. I'll dry this one and then use it for my charcoal grill. 
and that's the palm oil right there so i'm going to transfer my palm oil into a bottle like this and then just set it aside and that's my fave is how you make palm oil at home oh yeah clap for me i know you want to clap for me at this point right clap for me yay <laughs> Okay, so if you found this video helpful, if you found it beneficent or beneficiary, please, please, please help me like this video, leave a kind comment, and then share it to your family and your friends. And they will also learn something. I mean, most of us buy palm oil, but it's not going to be a terrible thing to see how palm oil is made, right? Right, my faves? Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to cover this up and our homemade palm oil is ready. I cannot wait to try this with very soft new yam or even make garden next to you with this palm oil. I'm sure it's going to bang and I'm sure I'm going to love it. So yeah, faves, for my 3,600 Naira palm fruit, I got palm oil. I also got banga paste. I also got palm kernel that I will eat later which I think is very economical. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.